Capital Football had won their opening two matches in impressive style before last week's defeat. So they'll be desperate for a win today to keep them in the hunt. Of course, a slightly abbreviated competition this year with the teams from the Auckland and Waikato regions unable to take part, but it's been great to have this slightly abbreviated competition up and running and there's been some good football on display. My name's Morgan Jarvis and it's my pleasure to be commentating today's match from Logan Park here in Dunedin and the Southern United lineup. Well, one big change there is Chantelle Smith making her first start of the season. She's made a huge impact from the bench, including scoring a worldie against Central here at Logan Park a fortnight ago. So not too many changes to the winning lineup. We caught up with assistant coach Tom Stevens ahead of the match. Tom, a 1-0 win over Capital last weekend to remain undefeated. What are you looking to build on for today's rematch? I think really just looking to bring a bit of fight to the battle. Adds a different dynamic having played each other last week. So last week means something, means nothing. I will just take it, build into this week and look to retain possession a little bit more. I think they held a scout last week, so we'll just look to calm down and keep the ball um, before building an attack. As we see the two teams making their way out onto the pitch and Capital Football, the visitors today who will be playing in gold. Well, they've got some very experienced players in their lineup, including Football Ferns legend Anna Green and last season's golden boot Kayleigh Ward, but also some exciting youngsters. Let's hear from Capital coach Maya Vink. Maya, you're playing Southern again after a close loss to them last week. What areas have you been focusing on this week to ensure you get the win today? Yeah, I thought last week we did well enough to at least take a point away, if not if not more. So this week's just really been about being really clinical in front of goal, open up those pockets. As a, you know, Southern defended pretty well last week, so um, yeah, that's been up for us, being clinical, finishing off those opportunities. And a couple of injuries at training during the week, I believe. How's that affected your lineup for today? Yeah, yeah, we've had to make a few changes, but I think that just speaks to the depth of our squad in terms of the players that are stepping up today. Um, I know those ones that are back at home will be missing playing, but they're fully behind us and we're ready to go. We see the captains Rose Morton and Kelly Ward come to um, Kelly Bryant come together for the toss. And today's conditions well here, a bit chilly, temperature of around 10 degrees. It's be a wee bit of drizzle throughout the game and gentle breeze, but hopefully nothing too nasty. And it's well better conditions than a fortnight ago. So looking forward to the match and the, and the other fixture this weekend. Central will be hosting Canterbury United Pride tomorrow. Make sure that you uh, tune in to Sky Sport next at noon tomorrow to, uh, to catch that match as Canterbury United try and stay in the hunt to, uh, for this South Central Series title. Central Football will be looking for their first one of the season. But back to Logan Park here, the officials today. Referee Harrison Cook with Daniel Dukenfield, Alice Clipsom is the assistants and Will Diamond as fourth official. So teams just switch over there. Southern United in their all blue kit and visitors capital in the gold tops. And Pepe Oliver Bell in the 12 shirt there and Kaylee Ward. In the nine, a couple of very dangerous attacking threats in this capital lineup for Southern to contend with today. And the game gets underway. And Capital did control a lot of the uh, possession in last week's clash between these two teams. And uh, as we heard from Maya Vink, um, she thought that they, they could have got something out of the game. So they'll be really up for, for this match here. But meanwhile, Southern, well, they're just riding high with three wins from three matches. And only a couple of rounds to go after this match. Tony Power, the fullback, and what's a very settled back four for Southern United, throws in there, and Amy Hislop can't quite get it under control. Capital do like to play the ball out from the back quite confidently. We saw a lot of that last week. 
Chantal Smith in the 17 shirt there for Southern United. Well, she'll be very hungry with uh, her first first start of the of the season, but uh, has already made a big impact in her appearances off the bench. Margarita Diaz there for Southern, who scored a great goal against Central a fortnight ago here. Southern have certainly had a very settled look to their lineup over the course of the competition so far. Well, there's a few changes today for yep. Capital. It's his lot. Looks to yeah, looks, beat looks her mark good. there, but that'll be a goal kick. It's probably the, the scaffold. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately not too much of a breeze here at Logan Park at the moment. It can uh, pick up a bit at times, but again they look to build from the back and there'll be a great tussle there in the middle of the park as uh, Renee Bacon lays it forward to Chelsea Whitaker who turns her marker there, Gemma Catherwood, and, uh, but recovers well and stops that attack. As Renee Bacon looks for a long throw in towards his lop and Capital just about clear it. Rose Morton, the southern captain there, does well to mop up and sends it out to power. But now it's a chance for a break for Capital. Can't quite keep it in play there. The southern bench there looking fairly relaxed with head coach Graham Smale and assistants Tom Stevens and Jess Fuller beside him. A first season in charge of the team as head coach for, for Graham Smale and uh, what a start it's been. But he has been heavily involved as an assistant in that over a number of recent seasons with the squad. It's Bacon plays it to Whitaker. And looking for a 1-2 there, but it's pretty easy for Jaden Watts to deal with, and she goes back to Molly Simons, her goalkeeper there, part of the Wellington United AFC club. And Capital now look to launch an attack. And Gemma Robertson there, who back into the starting lineup after coming on at half time in last week's loss to Southern. As the ball goes all the way back to Simons here. Capital will bring it forward, but that's easily cut out by Kelsey Kennard, the experienced Southern defender. But nicely won back in the end, Catherwood. It's a wee bit sloppy in the middle of the park, and Capital probably fortunate to get it back under control, but they'll look to turn that into something. Now power to Diaz. His lot. Back to power. It's been a pretty settled squad for Southern, really over the last couple of seasons. A lot of uh, combinations there. Chelsea Whitaker, another one of the really experienced players, okay. and Renee Bacon. Let me know when I'm free. Nicely shielded there, though, by Emma Main in the 15 shirt for Capital. Look for her to, uh, if she gets a, a sniff at goal from long range, uh, being known to score some absolute rockets. There's Helena Errington, another player who wasn't in the lineup last week. Had to contend with a few injuries, but they've got some good depth to their squad. And so Anna Green with the throw in. We'll see plenty of her today, especially with any attacking set pieces and corners. One of the best in the business.
And so again, it comes all the way back to Simons. Not too much pressure on her though, so Southern looking just to keep their structure and shape as have done so well throughout this competition so far. And now another chance for Capital with Oliver Bell trying to hold it up, but Rose Morton as good as anyone in the competition really at mopping the, those kind of situations up. So fairly, uh, fairly even opening passage here without any chances on goal yet. Both teams just sussing each other out. Always a fascinating situation when you've got two teams that played against each other only a week ago. Going head to head again. Great opportunity for the for the coaches and players to try and improve on uh, a week earlier. It's Bacon will probably look to go long again and Kirsty Hare flicks it on. She was outstanding in last week's match. Probably the player of the match. Scored the only goal of the game. And was uh, absolutely everywhere on the pitch. Is uh, nicely controlled there by Oliver Bell and trying to uh, get on the break there. And the southern goalkeeper, Amy Simmers, there, nice and calm and composed. Just enough time to get the ball clear. So Catherwood plays it up, looking for Ward. Morton's again there to calmly go back to Hannah Mackay Wright. Canard goes in strong to clear the ball. Had some good battles over the last couple of years, these teams. Southern have won three of the last four encounters now, but that one win that Capital have had was a very impressive 5 0 win 12 months ago up in Patoni. So. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more goals today than we did last week where there was just the one goal that separated the two teams. There's the balls chipped in there by Emma Main and it was easy enough in the end for Simmers to deal with but it was a dangerous ball there from Main. As Simmers goes long, don't see that too often, she likes to the short quick balls out but just about created something there for Chelsea Whitaker. It's got quite right. Centre back. It's all the way into the opposition half to win the ball. Quite right the air and Back to Whitaker and Bacon back to Whitaker. But nice challenge there by Catherwood. The youngster who's been part of New Zealand under 17 talent ID camps in the last couple of years. Bacon lays it forward, perhaps looking for his lot, but couldn't quite get all the way through to the striker. Tussle over on the far side of the pitch there. And Emma Main on the ball. Flicks it forward but couldn't quite find Oliver Bell. Power now driving forward and Morton. We've seen her with a couple of assists so far in the competition with perfectly played through balls but couldn't quite get it right on that occasion. Anna Green, what an asset to have in this capital side. More than 70 caps for the Ferns. So ball swung in and just 
didn't have anyone there at the far post, so it's easy enough for Bacon to deal with. And great combination again with Whitaker, who just about keeps it in. But not quite. Nice pressure again from Gemma Catherwood just to make it difficult enough for Whitaker. Ball over the top here now, and Capital just can't quite get the ball into the six yard box there. So, be a goal kick here for Simmers. 18 year old goalkeeper in her first season with Southern. She has previously played for Central Football, but it's come down to Dunedin to study at university and been a, been a great find really for, for Southern in, in goals this season. couple of changes at the back for Capital today were enforced changes but fortunate that they do have uh, some real depth in, in their squad yeah, when they're missing the likes of Alan Phipps and Katie Barrett his lot nicely flicked on there to Whitaker who's one on one and does a couple of wee spins and tries to beat her player and does well to keep it in and it's won a corner so good persistence there from Whitaker didn't really have the ball under control to start with but did well to still manage to win a corner first of the match and to see a replay here and <laughs> saw Jaden Watts come charging and did well to close Whitaker down initially and again did well to prevent a cross from coming in, but now the corner comes in. Well cleared. Bacon couldn't quite connect with that one, so another goal kick for Molly Simons. Southern fairly content to let the Capital defenders play the ball amongst themselves, but it's that they've got the, the block then which is so difficult to break through. And we've seen Southern do such a good job of that in the opening three games of this uh, competition. Tony Pierre finds Diaz down the line. Diaz couldn't find Chantel Smith, but Morton did well to tidy up. Can't find a teammate with that ball. Morton tried to close down her opponent there, but Emma Main did well, but just possibly a wee bit too much on that ball. No, done well there. Ward to get onto it. But well marked by the Southern defenders who just work so well as a unit. Pretty hard team to break down these days. Far cry from just a few years ago. There's, there's a dangerous ball coming across, but I think it was Power who did just enough, and then, well, shot comes in. It may have been uh, main there, but comfortable enough for Simmers to deal with. Mackay right under a little bit of pressure from Oliver Bell. Yes, Smith is uh, fouled there by Gemma Robertson. It's just relieve a wee bit of pressure for the home side. Bacon again looking for Whitaker once again with a good turn, just marking it just a little bit tight there. And so Whitaker's now in a bit of space and Here's a bit of support too. Goes herself and, well, fires him what I think was a shot. D has got a heel to it. It just about turned into uh, a chance there. So, 
look at this from from Whitaker, a real wizard dribbling on the ball and rifled it in. <laughs> Diaz, uh, well, we saw a couple of weeks ago against Central, she attempted a bicycle kick that didn't quite come off, but uh, Southern subsequently scored their opening goal of the match. Um, and Diaz again looking for the spectacular there. She's uh, a real dynamite player and um, has been a real find again for Southern this season coming down from Canterbury as Capital are going to get a free kick in a great position here with uh, their player bundled over from behind and really dangerous position here just outside the box and it will be Anna Green who's immediately over to the ball. So dangerous from set pieces and she'll swing it in with her left foot and Capital with a few players up there to try and latch onto the end of it. There's some tall timber though in the in the southern defence. Green swings it in, it's dangerous ball and it's found the net. Beating Simmers. Well, Capital open the scoring. Early goal, what a brilliant ball, and it may have been Emma Maynard just got a flick there from that free kick to open the scoring for Capital and well, Southern once again um, go behind. They in their opening two two matches of, of the competition, they had to come from behind after conceding early goals, and well, they've conceded here in the in the 18th minute. So the visitors, Capital, seeking revenge for their 1-0 loss to Southern up in Petoni only a week ago. And Capital with a 1-0 lead. But it was, uh, well, it was, it was it was a great finish. That goal really all came down to the delivery from Anna Green. And such a dangerous... Uh, ball that she uh, sent into the southern box there and the southern goalkeeper Amy Simmers I don't think she had too much chance but of a globetrotter really in a green just has played in uh, numerous countries around the world as uh, Capital can't quite turn that into an attack but Green's played in Australia, Germany, Sweden, Japan and England and here she is uh, very fortunate to have a player like that with such amazing uh, pedigree here in the uh, South Central series as Capital get onto that and the long range shot comes in it's awkward for Simmers to deal with dipping just in front of her but did well to get down to it Chantelle Smith hasn't been on the ball too much in the opening 20 minutes of the match and she'll look to take a bit more control of the game and here she is teaming up with Power and Diaz and the ball's still in but nobody there from Southern to put any pressure on Green. Good hit of the year by Hannah McCoy right that's going to be a great battle her and Kaylee Ward. Right again goes long and his lot so good at getting the ball under control but had two players surrounding her and including Errington and the free kick goes the way of Capital. Capital of course finished runner up in last season's National League before losing the final to the Canterbury United Pride. There's a long range effort comes in there. Easily dealt with by Simmers. And that's straight to Catherwood. Plenty of time to play it around amongst her teammates. But there's Chantelle Smith with the kind of hunger that we see. And well, her eyes lit up as she had a crack from distance, but 
scuffed her shot really and Capital will be relieved because they will know that Chantel Smith uh, is as good as anyone at uh, stops from distance and we saw it a couple of weeks ago against Central when she scored an absolute screamer and Southern again on the attack with Morton up in an advanced position but Capital closed down that attack and looked to counter now. That was Ward dropping deep, as she often does, but such a great goal scoring threat in Ward. Got a couple of goals against uh, Canterbury United a couple of weeks ago. Kai Wright finds Whitaker, who once again is really keen to take on her marker there. Catherwood one on one. Can't quite beat her marker. Oh, Bacon lost out there, and good chance now for Capital Morton covering so well again. Whitaker seeing plenty of the ball early on. Bacon with the throw in for Southern. His lop again, the target. But always finding herself surrounded by a couple of yellow shirts. His lop often has a fairly uh, lonely job up an attack for Southern, but such a good all round player that she uh, she's almost like two players one and here she is winning the ball back lays it off for Bacon the fullback who's screaming forward and tries to get an early cross in but can't get it back to his lot Canard wins that header Chantel Smith play it with a nice ball for power to run onto into plenty of space with a few players in front of her and it's his lot, and it comes through to Haya, who gets the shot in. Did well to get a low shot in towards the near post, but Molly Simons dealt with it pretty easily, but did well to get down to it, really. That's a good chance for, for Southern. Those are the, the types of runs that uh, we see the midfielders in that from Southern United do so well to support his lot. And it often pays dividends for them, especially on the counter-attack. Here they are, having to defend again. And all comes in, but well wide of simmers and goals. Simmers goes long and one Smith but nicely cut out and Maine <laughs> well just like Chantel Smith first instinct I think is always to shoot and it opened up a wee bit and that was a similar area of the park from where Chantel Smith scored a couple of weeks ago and Emma Maine looking to do the same but just dragged her shot a bit Paul comes back to Simmers under a wee bit of pressure there but his lot again with uh, good close control turns and Morton flicks it on but couldn't quite find a teammate so easy for Jaden Watts there to, to deal with Southern looked to put a little bit of pressure on there but Ward does well and Bacon able to just let the ball run out of play there with Pepe Oliver Bell in close attendance Whitaker once again looking to beat her player and does so she's such a crafty player and there she goes she's still going and looking to find his lot comes back to her though and oh, quite full the way they wanted but they still have a chance here and Tia is wildly swinging at the ball she connected with that wouldn't have been surprised if it went top locker but couldn't do so been an entertaining opening 25 minutes here 
at Logan Park and oh, Rose Morden with a bit of pressure there on uh, Errington, a youngster for, for Capital and Capital fortunate that uh, they got a foul out of that. This green thumps a long ball forward down the line and it was Ward there who uh, slipped over so it was easy enough for Southern to deal with. Green again sends it long. Hit. Well, Oliver Bell full of running trying to get onto the end of it but another goal kick for Simmers. Morton and Smith combining and Smith looks up. Oh, it's a good challenge there that came in from Kennedy Bryant. Needed to shut down Chantel Smith. Bacon finds his life. Is she onside because she's got onto the ball? She tries to chip the goalkeeper but over the goals. And I don't believe that the offside flag went up there. So great chance for Southern United and... Saw Bacon with a nice first time ball through to Hislop and tried the left footed dink over Simons. It was the, the right thing to do but just couldn't get the ball down again quickly enough. Works a nice one too there with, with Maine and Oliver Bell with an early ball through. Ward, well marshalled though by Mackay Wright. He's been sticking to Kayleigh Ward like glue for much of this opening half hour. Harrington again. Looking to build an attack here. And Catherwood, well challenged by Smith, and then a sliding tackle comes in. Big challenge there. It's a clever turn by Smith, and a oh, free kick for Southern United. A good battle in the middle of the park between the two teams. And Capital now down that left hand side. Might be doing well to keep that in, but Power had to had to mop it up just in case. So it'll be an attacking throw in here for Capital. Green again to take it. Ward was trying to get onto that, but Diaz on the ball now for Southern. Can't clear it out though, so Capital will pile on the pressure. And Catherwood cuts inside. Does well to play it back, and now Main on the ball. Kennedy Bryant flicks it out to Green, and she'll swing in another dangerous cross. Well. Bacon did just enough there and Southern managed to get it clear. This capital come forward again. Rosie Wild playing it on, and that's Green once again with a dangerous ball. And well, I think Simmers got a hand to it, I think. There was another dangerous ball in. So we see Green here get back onto her favoured left foot, swung in, dangerous ball. So Southern are really going to have to do a better job of uh, shutting down 
Green, who's such a threat for Capital down that left flank. But Hislop now on the ball for Southern to power. Good pressure again there by, I think, Gemma Robertson for Capital. Harrington picks it on and Capital, well, just weren't quite on the on the right wavelength there with Oliver Bell, but they'll look to box in Bacon. Whitaker couldn't quite get it under control, and so Capital just about managed to create another chance there before Chantel Smith now comes away for Southern. Whitaker and Bacon combining again. Rose Morton back to Chantal Smith. A couple of Dunedin Tech players, of course, so many of this Southern squad. Part of the super successful Dunedin Tech squad over the last few seasons. Morton with a bit of head of tennis. And Hislop always fighting to get the ball back, but comes back now for Smith. Of course she'll have a shot, but easily loops up for Simons there. Green keeps it in, but goes straight to power and she looks to spark an attack for Diaz. It's a capital bench there quite quite animated but they'll be delighted that after the opening half hour of this game their side leading 1-0 after that goal to Emma Main in the 18th minute Bacon now surges forward and has a few blue shirts in front of her but it's nicely uh Cut out there by Kennedy Bryant. But now Kirsty here wins the ball back. Oh, just couldn't quite link up with his lot. That was a good chance there for Southern with three players all surging forward and attack there, and they know that they could have turned that into a chance on goal. Bacon to his lot. Back to Bacon, bit of a Gary O in the end. Out with by Capital, who now look to launch forward to Kaylee Ward and Rose Morton did just enough there to help shut down that. And Whitaker has been seeing plenty of the action down here on the left hand side. Great battle she's having with Catherwood. So Southern United that love to get a goal back here before half time. Just starting to create a little bit of an attack and you see a great tussle there. Good good challenge from, from Catherwood. She's been so tight on Whitaker throughout the game as the ball comes in and Hannah Mackay Wright getting ahead to the ball but just couldn't quite direct it on goal. But the likes of Mackay Wright and Kennard, his lot, some great targets from those set, for those set pieces. Bit of pressure here from Chantel Smith. Does well to win it just outside her box. And it's a good recovery from Bryant, I think it was. Just enough. Southern are just lifting the intensity a wee bit here. Yes, Morton does well just to cut that one out when it was needed, but nicely... One back here by Errington, I think it is. Nice composure. Happy to go back to Bryant. She swings it across. And Capital now, Maine. 
Sends it out to Catherwood, but disappointing cross there. Simons will just calm things down with another goal kick. Yeah, Simmons, sorry. Um, is Bacon will look to clear, but it's nicely closed down by Main. Bacon happy just to get her foot to it. And Southern will look to turn into an attack here with Whitaker. Nice composure and just flicks it across to Smith, who looks up, sees a bit of space in front of her, but was quickly closed down in the end. His lot once again with a couple of players on her back. Happy to go back and build again. Rose Morden has to flick it on. Oh, there's a crucial intervention there from Jaden Watts. Morton to Diaz. Morton looks up, sends it across to Bacon. She swings it in, looking for Diaz, making that angled run. But again, Capital do well to clear from their own box. Emma Main to Oliver Bell. <laughs> Kelsey Kennard in close attendance. And do well. And once again, Whitaker. Great turn into acres of space and still going. Looks up, finds the feet of his lop, slightly heavy touch, but out to Diaz, and she has Tony Power on an overlapping run down that right flank. What can Southern do from this? Power looks up, takes on her marker, and, and that's gone for a goal kick. Disappointing end, really, because there's a nice build up there from Southern. Southern have scored six goals in their opening three fixtures with, uh, well, all different goal scorers, including an own goal. But other than that, five different scorers for Southern. As <laughs> if it comes in and skims off the top of the crossbar, well, you can see Simons breathing a big sigh of relief there. There's... She was in no man's land there after a little bit of a mix-up with the defender and <laughs> long-range effort came in and off the top of the crossbar. Well, just about got out of jail there, Capital. Who still lead here, 1-0 over the home side, Southern United. Boy, through ball there from Morton looking for his love. It comes back for Morton, bacon again on an overlapping run. Onto her favoured right foot. It's a good ball across, but Diaz was always going to struggle to do much from that far out. Heavy touch there. Classic case there of having to play to the whistle. A couple of the southern players just stopping, expecting. Might have been a handball, but. Again, power. Smith surveys her options. They look to build from the back through Canard. Whitaker with a lovely first touch ball onto Bacon, overlapping. Brilliant cross. Just about found his lot. Wonderful tussle there between Southern captain Rose Morton and Kaylee Ward, the capital striker. Once again, no whistle goes, so with uh, Emma Main down on the turf, the ball's knocked out. Fortunately, Emma seems okay there, so the ball comes back to Capital. Again, very uh, keen to play it out from the back there. 
Southern just about shutting down those options. There's Ward again dropping deep there, a big challenge from Chantel Smith, but there's an advantage here as Capital surge forward in a driving run here and if it thumped on goal from may have been Jaden Watts driving forward is good determined run there couldn't get the shot on target though as we get close towards the half time break here and Main swings it across Diaz finally in a bit of space looks up Oh, just about finds his lot, but it was just behind the southern striker. It's Anna Green looks to just uh, slow the game down a wee bit now. As she's seen southern lift the intensity a bit over the last 10 minutes or so. Capital will be keen just to, uh, I guess, see the scoreline through to half time, really. They'd be delighted to be able to take a lead into the break. It's Catherwood, who's been busy, cuts inside and has some options up in front of her, but still going to her left foot, chips in a shot, and finds the net. Puts Capital 2-0 up just before half-time. What a strike. Well, just about looked like she'd run herself into a bit of a, bit of a hole. But looked up, left-footed chip, and dropped Nicely into the corner there to beat Amy Simmers, the southern keeper. Just couldn't get close to it. What a strike. Gina Catherwood. She's been heavily involved in the game, both defensively having to uh, well, be kept very busy with Chelsea Whitaker prominent in attack for Southern, but wow. Just opened up there for, for Catherwood and what a strike. Capital 2-0 up now over Southern United. Just can ignore the wee scoreboard glitch there which we've now updated. Well, Southern now with a mountain to climb in the second half and they've been super impressive in the second halves of their matches but uh, yeah, got plenty to do here against a capital team which is uh, certainly fired up for this match can Southern claw one back before the break Whitaker again one on one with Catherwood but the youngster's done well and calmly laid it back to her keeper and Simons Nice work from Southern United there, trying to win the ball back. Capital look to build again. Pretty good conditions here now, and it's been a really entertaining opening half. Uh, is full to, uh, half time whistle goes here at Logan Park Capital go into the break 2-0 up over Southern United thanks to goals from Emma Main and Gemma Catherwood and well they probably deserve to go into the break with the lead they've made the most of a couple of their chances Southern will be looking to come back in the second half and get back into this game could see some changes too from both teams at the break so make sure you stick around grab yourself a cuppa and we'll be back soon for the second half here from Logan Park
treasure on their way Forever's our own, they'll stay Proud and treasure on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid These brighter days are on their way
I'ma hit the gas once I tap it, I'm gone. Faster than the flash when I get in this zone. Higher than the plane, stay up by my lane. Oh, I do it different and they really can't explain. Let me elevate, let me elevate you. 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 Smoke rising like a locomotive I'm on my go so you know the motive It's like they voting and I'm so to polling Giving them info like I got the folder open On a Kawasaki with a Motorola I'm Samsung and on the open ocean On the metro chasing escrow You backsliding while I breaststroke Sidewinding, I'm high rising I'm so fly that I'm skydiving It's no problems, there's no hiding Got other things that I'm worried about Man, I'm be gon' breathe Trying to get into the mood though Hop into the whip, got my mind on my paper I wouldn't be mad if you wanna get it too, yo But I ain't got time so I gotta see you later They think that I'm soulless like Tupac pitch should me rolling. Yeah. I'll be music composing while trying to open this lotus. I'm like a camera that's trying to capture my purpose is focus. Yeah. You out of options, I'm like a doctor. I'll double the dosage. Oh yeah, I work with the medics. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetics. Hope you can't go where I'm headed. What? That'll get you ejected. What? On this level, I get it. I'm trying to double my credit. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the gas. Once I tap it, I'm gone. Faster than the flash when I get in this zone higher than the plane stay up by my lane oh I do it different and they really can't explain let me elevate let me elevate you 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 Elevate, elevate, that's how I feel when I meditate. I speak hymns when I educate, don't want stems in my Mary J. I don't need that to ventilate. I'm so clean at the rain. Kiora, welcome back to Logan Park in Dunedin for this round four fixture in New Zealand football's National League South Central Series. Top two teams, Southern United, the home team up against Capital Football. And the two teams went head to head up in Petoni last week, where Southern United came away with a 1 0 win. But today, at half time, Capital 2 0 up. Thanks to goals from Emma Main in the 18th minute and just before half time, Gemma Catherwood scoring a great goal. So, Southern United with plenty to do. It's making a change there too, and it looks like Emily Morrison coming on for this second half. And the second half gets underway. Southern United, home team in the full blue kit, capital in their golden black. Southern will be desperate to put some early pressure on in the second half and try and claw their way back into this match. They had some chances in that first half and Chantel Smith went close, skimming the crossbar with a long range effort. A couple of other half chances, but he'll be wanting to create, create a wee bit more to put a wee bit more pressure on Molly Simons in goal for Capital. There's Morrison, the half-time substitute, gets onto the ball early and across to a Captain Morton and then Kennard. One thing Morrison will add to the team as well for Southern is uh, just so good at driving runs forward. And uh, she'll be trying to link up with Amy Hislop up top for Southern United. There's Robertson is under pressure there, but Capital send it down the left flank and Anna Green, well... Wouldn't have seen that too many times over the years from her as a bit of a miskick, really. <laughs> She's allowed to have a wee, wee giggle there because uh, it was her brilliant free kick delivery that uh, led to Emma Main's opening goal for Capital. Now we see another great tussle in the in the middle of the park, I think, in the second half. 
Kennedy Bryant, captain for the day for Capital, lays it back to Green. No miss kick here. Can't quite be kept in there. Debbie Oliver Bell laying it back and Bryant goes all the way back to Simon, her keeper. That's <laughs> a poor ball there and Southern looking to pounce. Kirsty here who scored the only goal in last week's match. Just didn't quite break for her this time round so Capital get it clear. Jaden Watts had a good first half. One of four changes from last week's starting lineup for Capital, including a couple of injury enforced ones. As Capital drive forward here, Chantel Smith with a great challenge, getting the ball there, sliding in, needed to. Bacon looks up, finds Morrison. No. His lock's never going to get on the end of that one. Ward dropping deep and looks up and Green hearing down the left flank and she'll send in across. Bit of a miss kick. It ended up being a rather awkward one for Amy Simmers, the southern keeper, to have to keep out of the net. Don't know if that was what Green intended, but... Southern would just be relieved, really, because they can't afford to concede a third goal here. They'll be desperate to be the next team on the on the score sheet here. Already the second half is looking to be an even more open affair than the than the first half. Could see a bit of end-to-end -end action, I think. It's an entertaining first half and referee Harrison Cook did a did a great job. He's in his fourth season involved in the National League space. Um, been involved in uh, the National Women's and National Youth Leagues. Did a, did a really good job in that, in that first half to just let the game uh, flow and we saw good action, some good challenges from both teams but it's a good contest as Smith lays it across to power. Morrison surges forward. Uh, Power can't drive it past Robertson. Another player who wasn't in the starting lineup last week, Robertson, came on at half time, but here she is again with a good challenge on Power. And Pepe Bell, well, gets a wee touch, and Ward bundled over from behind by Morton. And Harrison Cook has decided that's a penalty. Morton is distraught. Can't believe the penalty has been awarded there. Now she had won the ball. See Power suggesting that as well. And look at the replay here. Pepe Bell, well, it just fell for Ward and didn't look like there was a lot in it, but the referee has seen enough to award a penalty. And Kaylee Ward with a fantastic chance to put the visitors' capital football 3 0 up early in the second half here. Just Amy Simmers, the southern goalkeeper, to beat. If there's any player you wanted to put money on from the spot, well, be Ward and it's, look at that, what a great penalty. Simmers went the right way but still had no chance of getting to a classy penalty. In capital football, 3-0 up over Southern United. Kaylee Ward was golden boot in the National League last season, just including a hat trick against Southern United when they uh, Capital won 5 0 up in Petone 12 months ago. And Ward also scored a couple of goals against Canterbury United Pride uh, earlier in uh, this South Central Series competition. So, just absolutely fantastic goal scorer. Heavily involved in the coaching space too, and just been uh, 
been been brilliant ever since she came over from the from the states a few years ago, where she had played a lot of uh, sort of top university level football there. So Southern with a mountain to climb, but oh, a huge challenge there on Chantel Smith and. Anger from, from the crowd and from the Southern players there that the free kick wasn't awarded and Smith picks up a yellow card for her reaction but it seemed like she'd been blocked off and see the replay here. Kennedy Bryant tussled with her there and then, well, I think it might have been Rosie Wilde there who just clattered into Smith and uh, what was an encouraging chance there for, for Smith close to the edge of the capital box. So Southern still upset that that hasn't gone their way. They're just going to have to keep their tempers in check now. Especially Smith now that she's picked up that yellow card. Whitaker on the ball. Looks up and sends a cross in. But can't find Morrison or Hislop. Smith is uh, everywhere to, at the start of the second half and well just about claims of even even a pass back there as the ball made its way back to Simons but she did well to deal with it. It's Robertson and Tony Power with a great tussle it's Power that comes out on top this time cuts inside <laughs> ball could have gone anywhere and now it's been cut out Pepe Oliver Bell with support and Maine fires in a shot. A couple of metres wide of goal, but we know how dangerous she is from that kind of range. Simmers again forced to go a bit longer than she would often like to. And Oliver Bell back on the ball for Capital. Canard did well to close her down and Whitaker once again it's like the ball's glued to her boots still going took a nice challenge from Catherwood there who scored that wonderful second goal just before the break for Capital what a tussle her and Whitaker have had all day Whitaker again looks to find his lot but nicely cut out of Rosie Wilde I want to see a wee bit more of the ball right up at the attacking end for Southern in this half. Smith lays it back to the thrower. Bacon fires it in. In towards the penalty spot where Morrison's on the ball. Looks up for support. Has power coming in from long range. Sends it across to his lot. Just doesn't quite fall for Southern the way they want it to. And Capital do enough. Plenty happening here early in the second half at Logan Park. Round four of the South Central Series. Southern United have won their opening three games and here comes it. Oh, Rose Morton has poked just wide of goal as the keeper was rushing out. Head in the hands as they know that was a great chance to pull one back. Well there, Simons was screaming out and I guess did enough to force a shot wide. So Capital 3-0 up, Just haven't quite got our graphic updated there yet. But Southern knocking on the door as they try and get their way back into the match here. Robertson under pressure again from Power who does well to win the ball but Makes its way back for Errington. She's just looked really composed in the middle of the park for Capital. Kennedy Bryant had a busy first half as well. I believe this is Kennedy Bryant's 50th match for Capital Football, actually. So it's a great milestone. 
Bacon looks up to find his lot, but just can't quite keep the ball in. You may see another change here, and Ruby Anderson is going to be coming on for Southern. And it's Renee Bacon, surprisingly, who uh, comes off. The left fullback, Ruby Anderson, really an out and out striker. So uh, I guess it, it shows the intent there from Southern that they've got to try and uh, create something in attack to get their way back into this match. Might leave things a bit more open at the back. Nice control there from might have been Maine. Bryant looks up. Pippi Oliver Bell try and get on the end and will. Lays it back. Capital look to build towards a chance here and Looking to open up a shot. Crucial challenge there from Mackay Wright. Just poking in. Winning the ball. Robertson. Good tussle there. Morrison has to be sure not to foul her. And Southern get it clear. And there's Hislop linking up with the substitute. Anderson tries to take on her opponent there. Jaden Watts who just bundled her off the ball with a strong challenge and now Anderson just looked like hadn't quite made up her mind whether to go herself or try and feed the ball back to Amy Hislop but that's uh, just showing the the additional support and attack for Southern that, uh, that we're hoping will create some more chances for them as Anderson's on the ball again good tussle there with Green but uh, can't win the corner be a goal kick. We may uh, let's have another change here. With a sub being made for Capital and uh, Olivia Ingham coming on there. Uh, I think it was Jaden Watts and well Olivia Ingham being a super impressive youngster starred for Onslow College in, in, in Lower Hutt and she was the scorer of the late goal against Canterbury United Pride which sealed the win a couple of weeks ago just have a bit more of a stoppage here at Logan Park and Southern goalkeeper Amy Simmers just getting a wee bit of attention. So, well, if, if Capital go on to claim the three points here, it really opens up this competition with just a couple of rounds to go. A win for Southern would have put them in pole position up at the top of the top of the table. But uh, well, both Capital themselves and Canterbury United Pride who, who play tomorrow against Central and will be favoured to pick up 3.0 I guess uh, they'll st still be in the hunt for the title if, if Capital come away with the win here so Southern lots to do here as uh, the hour mark comes up Simmons having to make her way off the pitch and maybe forced into a substitution here. Which uh, wouldn't have been a, a planned one to be changing the goalkeeper. Assistant coach Tom Stevens, a very capable goalkeeper himself there on the sideline, and he gives Emma Andrew a pat on the back as. She makes her way onto the pitch for Southern United. So great opportunity for her. And uh, unfortunate for 
Amy Simmers. Hopefully nothing too serious there because Amy's been fantastic so far this season, played every minute in goals for Southern United. It was impressive for the university club in the winter season down here this year. So Capital get the game back underway. They surge forward down that right flank, but Southern do just enough to cut that one out. Canard there on the back of Kelly Ward who tries to turn the defender and does well to get across. Across. Teammates can't quite get onto it. Southern try and scramble it clear. Be desperate not to give away another penalty. <coughs> Oliver Bell lays it back. Swung across and well, there's an early touch for the substitute goalkeeper. Emma Andrew does well. She's just 17 years old, so uh, great moment here for her. Chantel Smith. Closely marked and then nice turn there from Olivia Ingham, the substitute for Capital. His lot is uh, quickly closed down by Bryant. Morrison looks up, tries to find Hab. Capital managed to close that attack down as well. Sent forward there by Angham. And Angham does well to cut it out and cuts it inside. One on one ward, but Mackay Wright just got to the ball first. It's a crucial intervention. Robertson inside to Errington. Now Smith on the ball. Looks up. Looked to get a wee tug there from her opponent. Smith beats Ward to the ball. Anderson just caught on her heels a bit there and Robertson did a great job of getting there first. Catherwood sends it forward and now Capital. They've got numbers forward here as the shot comes in from Maine. Got quite a bit of power into it. It was down low which can be awkward for the keeper and Andrew had to be alert. Having only just come onto the pitch three minutes ago, she's already had a couple of a couple of saves to make. Olivia Ingham's been good since she came on just a few moments ago for Capital. Yeah, Robertson, uh, Anderson linking up with his lot. Sends it across. Whitaker gets a shot in from a very tight angle on her left foot quite get it on target but not too far away again seeing the benefit of a few more options up an attack for Southern and it's just starting to pose some challenges for Capital the game really is opening up a bit Looks up. Again, trying to link up with his lot. His lot battling away up there, but Bryant comes away with it. Hang on, a wee bit of space. So he decides to bring it forward, but then happy to play it back to her captain. Robertson sends it forward and just about misjudged there. Why can I? But she did well to get a touch, but Pepe Oliver Bell 
Great pressure there to win the ball back. And Maine looks up, but what a crucial tackle there from Mackay Wright. Maine just eyes lit up. Just in the nick of time, Mackay Wright came along and uh, won the ball. Good conditions here now at Logan Park. And great quality uh, artificial turf surface here. Just lends itself to good football. We see it every fixture here. And it has been a, a really good match. Some good technical skills on display. As Morrison looks up. And oh, Kirsty here. Tried to flick it on. Still just can't quite. Uh, link up the way they would like to with, with his lot in attack. Hannah yeah. Green looks up, decides to play a shorter ball to Ingham who can't quite link up with Robertson. Morrison looks for options and hammers it into his lot who is giving a wee shove in the back. Gets a free kick on halfway. Referee Harrison Cook. When asked who his favourite team was, said he doesn't support a particular team. How about that for a referee? And outside of refereeing, he's a software engineer for zero. Capital. Players forward, Catherwood, happy to go back. Just trying to stretch the southern team around now, get them doing plenty of running. Rose Morden does well there, links up with Haya, across to Power. Morrison back to Power into the pocket for Anderson to get onto. Anna Green just happy to knock that one over the sideline. Great tussle for a, a youngster like Anderson to come up against such a star in Anna Green. Southern with a throw in right down in the corner. Keep it get it clear, and Oliver Bell does not well to lay it off for Ward. And Southern again a wee bit frustrated there, but Whitaker concedes a free kick in that challenge. She doesn't seem to be arguing the point too much. His lot still fighting hard an attack for Southern and once again wins the ball back. Well, wow. can't do it all alone and just sort of collected off the ball a wee bit there. And again, the frustrations from the players and even more so from the fans coming through there. It just looked like a bit of a um, two players coming together a wee bit off the ball. But frustration growing a bit for the home side, but Morrison trying to create something, trying to spark something for Southern. There's a decent crowd filtered in on the bank on what hasn't been a particularly pleasant day here in Dunedin, but at least better conditions than a couple of weeks ago. Again, you wouldn't believe that any day that we haven't had a game of football here, we've had some, <laughs> some pretty stunning, stunning weather. 25 degrees a couple of days ago, 10 degrees today but not bad conditions for a game of footy. It's capital. Drive their way into the box again, and might have been Tony Power who just cut that out before Emma Andrew had to get to the ball. These are the types of set pieces where capital will fancy their chances of really killing this game off as 
We get inside the last 20 minutes of the game. Currently leading 3-0 over Southern United with goals to Emma Main, Gemma Catherwood and Kaylee Ward from the penalty spot early in the second half. And Santa Green once again to swing in one of those corners. Gets it in towards the near post. And uh, Southern see it out for a goal kick. They'll be relieved with that. Flicked on by Chantel Smith. His lot tries to turn and link up with a teammate. Can't do so though. It's cut out by Main, who's been everywhere today. She's been superb. Now Anderson, surrounded by yellow shirts. What can she do? Dinks nicely and cuts it across to Morrison, but what a crucial intervention there for Capital. Smith on a yellow card, but not afraid to slide in a bit. Did well to win the ball. Capital again try and get across into the southern penalty area. Maya Vink, the Capital football coach, just got to be delighted with uh, the state of the game so far as we see 21. Lauren Owen, come on. And uh, she uh, might have made her debut last week when she started against Southern in the 1-0 in the loss. She comes on here for the last 20 minutes or so of this match. Morrison tries forward his lot the touch but again there were four shirts around her and now Morrison loses out and Ingham with the turn looks up finds Pepe Bell well Kennard might have just done enough there because it almost opened up there for Oliver Bell it's onside college striker who's uh, been really impressive in the opening weeks of this South Central Series competition. One of the impressive youngsters in this capital side. Another corner for Capital. Can't get it past the near post defenders. It's kept in. It'll be a throw in for Southern down in the corner there. Elena Arrington's been uh, really busy today and looks a nice composed player on the ball too, nice and calm. Morrison with a clever flick and looks up a bit of space. Finds Hislop who was onside and she sends it forward. Anderson tries to get on the end of it. Big challenge by Capital Captain Kennedy Bryant and well it was a brave challenge and it was a crucial one because Anderson just about had a side at goal there. If Southern could pull one back in the next few minutes, it could be a pretty, pretty exciting finish to this game. So we'll be desperate to, to get one back. It's Errington again. Being sent forward by the substitute Owen. Southern trying to press forward and shut down those passing lanes for Capital. Hislop tireless up up top for, for Southern and trying to 
shut down the capital defenders. Rose Morden wins a challenge, but it comes back for capital. Bingham. It's looked good since she came on, but that's not so good. It cut out by Southern and needed a, a good intervention there to close down Anderson. Graham Smale, the Southern United coach. Very, very calm character. And again, some ironic cheers from the from the crowd as Southern won a free kick. While it's Graham Smale's first season in charge of Southern United, he was, of course, head coach for a number of years for Dunedin Technical as they just started on this incredible run that they've had in the in the local Southern Women's Premier League. One, I've lost count whether it's the last nine or ten Premier League seasons. Barely had uh, one or two losses. <laughs> over most of those years as well and of course the the real icing on the cake well, more than that really was when Dunedin Tech stunned the country really in 2018 and won the Kate Shepherd Cup and what was uh, Graham's final game in charge for the for the for the club absolute sort of fairy tale finish there a number of those players involved in that Kate Shepherd Cup win playing here today, including Chantel Smith, who was the uh, Maya Jackman Trophy winner for the Player of the Day in that final, and a superb performance. It's capital, just trying to keep possession here and snuff out any chances for Southern United and just try and frustrate the home side of it really too. Southern won't give up though and Whitaker trying to win the ball back there. Hayley Ward gets the ball in a bit of space. Has Ingham up in support. Can't find her but lays it back and oh a long range effort there coming in from the substitute Lauren Owen. But well wide a goal. another substitution here and the very hard-working Chelsea Whitaker comes off and on comes talented youngster Juliet Lucas only 17 years old has starred for Rosam Mycari another substitute there well Lena you might need to take your bib off <laughs> a little bit too eager to get onto the pitch there She's an ex experienced midfielder and substitute here for Capital and they're going to make a change in goals as well with Molly Simons making way and I think it might be Ariana Gray coming on there so she looks pretty stoked to get onto the pitch too. So plenty of changes. Juliet Lucas is an exciting attacking talent. Let's come on for uh, for Southern. Anderson, another one of those substitutes, turns, looks up. Plenty of numbers forward now for Southern. They're really going hail mary here, but the offside flag goes up, which is disappointing. And his lot, Lucas and Anderson, they've got three genuine forwards there now to try and link up with.
Keppel might see it as a chance to sneak another goal on the on the counter. Ball comes forward and Hislop flicks it on and it's Lucas, a substitute who well, might have just shinned it. Maybe just lacking a little bit of composure because that was a great opportunity and seen her score some absolute screamers from all over the pitch but might have just needed a little bit more composure there. Couldn't test out the capital goalkeeper. Running out of time for taking these chances, Southern. There's the ball breaks here for Ingham. Mackay Wright tries to shut it down but comes through and oh, Ward just about got on the end of that and she knows that that could have been a chance to really kill off the, the home side as Andrew came, came screaming out, did well not to take out the capital striker. But Ward who scored that third goal for capital just after the break from the penalty spot. Thought she might have had another brace, but not to be for now anyway. As we enter the last 10 minutes or so of the match, Owen under pressure it does well to lay it off there. Ward loops up across. Andrew does really well to pluck that one from out of the air because could have been a, a chance there for, for Capital. Amy Hislop tries to turn Anna Green who's sort of shifted into a central role there in defence just to see out the match now with all her experience. Goes long, Smith under the ball. But loses out there to Errington. I mean, really impressive. And another nice ball through, just about pointing Ingham. And now Morrison, Lucas, back to Morrison. Plenty of blonde here up on attack for, for Southern here. Ingham now. Morrison in close attendance. Morrison does well to win the ball back. And no foul there either. In a really good tussle here between these teams today. Two very good sides. Chantel Smith sends it forward for Lucas, but Offside flag up again. Frustrating for Southern United. Capital attack down the right flank and Ward. One on one with Mackay Wright. Oh, gets it across to Ingham in a bit of space. Oh, fires a shot straight at Emma Andrew. I think Tony Power did just enough too to close Ingham down a bit there because it was a great chance for Capital. Hislop still battling away. Might have been a bit of a grab of the shirt from Green, but seems to get away with it. On the ball again. Finds Ingham. Back to Errington. Really open ending to this game with lots of players in space. Another big challenge there from Robertson, and again, no free kick conceded. They've, they've been uh, strong in the challenge when they've needed to be. Capital. So attack down that right flank again, and Ward to head to the ball. Can't get a shot on target though. Errington on the edge of the box.
will keep the ball in play too. Swings it across and has to be seen out for a corner. Which I'm sure Green will uh, gallop down the field to take. Probably a no rush though. With her side leading 3-0 as the game winds down. The uh, assistant referee there, Danny Dukenfield, lives in Queenstown. Only his second season is uh, officiating in, in football. It was the recipient of the 2021 Football South Assistant Referee of the Year Award, and Green swings it in. Can't beat the Anderson there at the near post for Southern. Cross. Last chance saloon surely for Southern to try and fight their way back into this. Chantel Smith cops a block from close range. Now yeah, Ward, what's she going to do? She Sends a ball across to Ingham. Just didn't quite fall to her feet there. Oh, I'm sure any Canterbury United Pride players or fans watching this will be pretty pleased to see uh, what looks like it's going to be a, a win for Capital and it's going to make for a fascinating final couple of weeks to this competition. Capital will uh, pull level with Southern on, on nine points. And we'll actually go ahead of them on goal difference if the scoreline stays this kind of way as well. So, But if the Pride can pick up a win over Central tomorrow, then they'll be in the hunt as well. Central though, despite not having picked up a, a win or a point yet in this competition, have been really competitive in, in most of their matches and they were actually very impressive a couple of weeks ago here against Southern. Southern had to fight really hard to come from behind in that match. Morrison up against Dingham and Pines Durand, middle of the park. What can Chantel Smith do? to Anderson, a great challenge there. I think Maya Vink will just be delighted with the way that her side have gone about their, their, their play today. Maya Vink, uh, ex experienced coach of course and involved in the New Zealand Football Female Coach Mentorship Programme which is been exciting to be up and running and one of the assistant coaches for Southern, Jess Fuller's oh, been a uh, recipient of that mentorship but is uh, capital through Ward I think it was just about adding a fourth goal Smith trying to do it herself That's capital through Ingham Just sense a wee bit of the frustration here from, from Southern. Just hasn't really gone their way today. Yeah. Capital able to get revenge for that defeat to the Southern side up in the Capital last week. As Ingham and Smith battle it out the air and his lot onto the ball. Hardly had a sniff at goal today. Comes back for Anderson and she's hounded again. And just yeah, look at the, the effort and pressure from the capital side. 
which they've been able to maintain throughout the full 90 minutes has been, been impressive. Morrison can't get it past Robertson. So despite dropping points for the first time in the competition, Southern United, well, they'll be able to regather for the final couple of weeks knowing that a couple of wins will uh, mean that they had still a great chance to claim this inaugural and, well, yeah, hopefully only South Central Series. It's been such a shame to not be able to have the teams from the Auckland and Waikato regions involved but uh, in, in both this and the, and the men's National League competitions but fingers crossed normal service can resume next season but it's been great to have this competition fill a gaping void for the teams outside those regions as Durand has failed and a very late chance here for I guess what could only be a consolation now for Southern but a free kick from about 10 yards outside the box. It's the defender, Hannah Mackay Wright, who's over the ball. There's a few targets there attacking from the far post. Swings it in towards goal and thunders against the crossbar. Now the second time that they've hit the crossbar, Chantal Smith also had a shot skim off the post late in that first half. Just sort of sums up the day a wee bit for, for Southern. Just haven't had that little bit of luck that, you, that they need as Smith swings in this corner. It's a high one, curving in. Hit capital, can they get it clear? I think they can. And the player's picked up a knock there too, so Harrison Cook quick to blow the whistle just to attend to the injured player. Let's hope it's uh, nothing too serious there. As uh, the game certainly winds down, Kennedy Bryant, the captain for Capital today, has just been superb, and she... Helps her teammate there, Lauren Owen, the, the substitute, get up. And fortunately, she seems okay. It's a bit of a heavy knock. Surely not long left in this match now. It's been great to be able to bring you this, this match from Logan Park in Dunedin. wonderful to be able to catch all of these National League and South Central Series men's and women's matches via the Sky Sport Next YouTube channel. Southern through Rose Morton, not giving up, still battling away. But the two captains there, he'd go head to head and Bryant Comes away with it. His lot still battling away. Keeps it in. Bryant blocks that cross. One last chance for a consolation goal for Southern, which you never know. Goal difference could be a factor. Is at the end of the uh, two full rounds of head-to-head -head home and away. There's no final or anything. It's the, the team that's on top that will claim the South Central Series title. So you never know how crucial... One or two goals could be as Anderson can only get it in to the keeper Gray to, to claim. And the full-time whistle's blown by Harrison Cook. And look at the delight for Capital. They've overturned their 1-0 defeat last week to Southern United by travelling down to Dunedin and picking up an impressive 3-0 victory. They led 2-0 at half-time through goals to Emma Main and Gemma Catherwood. And early in the second half, Kaylee Ward scored from the penalty spot. And they've held on. They've kept a clean sheet. And Southern United will be a bit disappointed that they haven't been able to maintain their perfect record. But, gee, this result 
really opens up the South Central Series competition with a couple of rounds to go. Make sure you tune in to Sky Sport next tomorrow at noon when Canterbury United Pride take on Central Football. Big, big uh, match there for Canterbury United and if, if they pick up a win there then all of a sudden there's three teams that will be hungry to try and take out this competition over the final couple of weeks. So from myself, Morgan Jarvis, thank you for joining us for the stream. It's been a lot of fun bringing it to you. And make sure you keep tuning in to the matches via Sky Sport Next. Thank you.